Hey, what's up everybody? So I promised you a little behind the scenes action at the National Association of Broadcasters. And so um, I'm gonna go into my room. I just kind of went in there and did a quick little something, check it out, but I'm gonna go in there, show you what it's like when you're doing the whole thing, find out exactly what you need to do, right? And so generally what happens is when you come down for a mic check, especially if you're a woman, one of the things that I always suggest is whatever um, uh, jacket or undergarments or anything that you're going to wear the next day or jewelry that you wear those when you're coming to do your mic check because it'll help them when it comes down to your um, uh, your mic pack and any of that other kind of stuff like where that goes and so you want to make sure you have that on I happen to have that on so that's the first thing hey how are you doing and so once you have that like nailed down, you go inside and this is the thing. No matter what you do, you have to make friends with some of the most important people ever. And I'm going to introduce you to those people in a second. Um, so here's my room. This is where I'm going to be. Right. And we make a big deal, by the way, out of stage time. Right. If you have a chance to walk on the stage, get on the stage, get a feel for the room, you should definitely do that. Right. Like a lot of speakers don't do that. It's super important to get a feel of the breath of the audience and how every, everything feels and goes. So let me show you the two most important people to my world. Right. That's these two guys right here. Two most important people ever. Right there. Hello. Say hi. This is Matthew and Mike. And why are they the most important people? Because they can make me look really bad. <laughs> <laughs> and they also have some insights. Like I asked them about the audience. Like, is this audience a hype audience? Or should I be worried about certain words? Mm -hmm. And they're really helpful with that. So this is stuff you want to answer. So wait, let's just go say hi. Say hi to everyone. Hey. Uh, <laughs> so we already did that part thank you guys yeah. so that's one of the important things like just going and talking to them they gave me so much information in regards to the audience and what to be aware of and not to be aware of this is super important when you're doing this a lot of people miss this part you got to talk to them second part is stage time right you want to really get up on stage and you kind of want to get a sense for what you're working with okay women ladies I got to tell you check out the floor because sometimes there will be little gaps in the floor. And if you are wearing stiletto heels, they will kick your ass. So you gotta know exactly what you're working with. And this will be my view tomorrow. But I'm hoping there will be people sitting in there. So we have a couple of thousand people that are gonna be here. Also, you'll see that the lights are really in my eyes, right? So I need to be aware of this for tomorrow. I might even wear my hair a little differently just to Make sure it's not too bright in my face so I can actually see <laughs> my audience. It's a really big deal for me to see my audience. And a lot of times they do have those lights on. So you want to make sure you do that. You get your mic. You get mic'd up. You make sure you know your stage. Is there going to be a podium on the stage? Right? You want to know that. I tend to be an edge walker. They have a confidence monitor here. That's great for me to know. Um, I didn't see a timer on it. So I'll make sure that I have my time on there. Um, and I'll ask them also is this the confidence monitor actually i can see that it is how do i know it's a confidence monitor because what's on the monitor is different from what's on the screen behind me so that means it's a confidence monitor which is great because i can see the slide that's coming up next um, i have tricks to get around that if i didn't so these are just some of the things that you want to know that you want to do you want to get mic'd up you want to go and do your sound check make sure that you know and when you're doing your sound check, even though there's a lot of people in the room, you're going to talk louder than normal because when there are people in the room, you are going to talk loud and you kind of want to get all of that out. You want to really go, okay, this is how I talk when I'm in front of an audience. Um, sometimes mics are super sensitive and you don't want to end up yelling. You know, your first thing out of your mouth sounds like you're blowing people's eardrums out. So these are things you want to be aware of. It's also cool for me to know that they're sitting in table rounds, okay? So they're sitting in table rounds. I do a lot of stuff where I go out into the audience. So table rounds are so much easier for me to work with than anything else. It's also easier when people are gonna come up and play on stage with me. Um, a couple of things that I need to ask them for is I'm gonna have two chairs come up on stage because I have a little thing that's gonna happen on stage during my, during my speech. So anyway, um, and all the way in the back, you'll see that there are vendors back there. I'm gonna go back there right now and I'm gonna meet the vendors. So why, you might go, Donna, our vendors, why are you gonna meet the vendors? 
because you know what? Sometimes the vendors, they say things, they tell you things, and you can leverage them in your speech. Anything that's going on in the moment that you can leverage in your speech, leverage it. In fact, there's something that happened this morning on the airplane that I'm leveraging in my speech this after, tomorrow morning. So these are all the types of things you want to do. I'm not one of those people who believes that, you know, I should be writing a speech eight months ahead of time for something I'm going to do today. Life changes quickly. I want to be leveraging those stories within my speech. So anyway, this is the room I'll be in tomorrow. As you can see, they're all setting up right now. And um, I know there's gonna be a couple of thousand people in there. It's a big room. I'm really surprised how big it is, big room. And also standing on the stage lets me know, you know, cause I like to manage the whole stage. So I really wanna get an idea of the whole stage that I'm managing. As well as I have a photographer coming here. So I'm gonna take a picture of this room and send it over to my photographer so he can also see what he's working with. So these are all the things you have to be aware of. Talking to my, um, talking to my, the guys over there at AV, we were talking about music and he said, you know, gave me some hand signs to give to him in regards to music, gave me some ideas in regards to music. So all those things kind of become important and you want to think about all those things when you get on, get here. And when you get in the room, it's a whole different game, right? Because once you're here, you kind of feel what's going on, right? You get a sense of the, the size of the room. You get a sense of the size of the stage. You, your brain really starts going through your slides. Here's the other thing that people don't always think of is what color is this in the back, right? If it's black and I'm wearing black, I'm gonna blend right in. So I wanna make sure that what I'm wearing does not clash. Some people see that and they put on red and red looks crazy with a blue background. So these are all the things that you kind of want to talk think about before you hop on stage. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. I have to go up and get ready because we have a huge networking dinner tonight. So I'm heading out to that and um, gonna go and say hi to some of the vendors. Gonna thank my guys one more time. Gonna go upstairs and um, I told them there was two misspellings on the slide. So I'm gonna go, and he also wants my slides. That was the other thing. He wants my slides in PowerPoint. Um, and initially they told me, uh, put him in keynote but he said oh we prefer it in powerpoint no problem guess what i'm gonna do run upstairs pop them in powerpoint he said no problem just email it right over to me so these are the kind of things when you really come downstairs and you talk and get to know your av and talk to all these people all these little last minute things that you want to be aware of and you want to handle you don't want to just you don't want to wing it you know in this part this is your prep this is what they pay you the money for they pay you to be a prepared professional so coming out here, having these conversations, getting these th things done and making sure that, you know, I've crossed off all the T's and dotted all the I's. Okay, we're going to leverage your laptop. We're going to put PowerPoint instead of mine. We're, you know, all those things are really, really important. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys tonight. I got to go and uh, work on my PowerPoint or my keynote, turn it to PowerPoint and uh, do a couple other things. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.